Hello everyone, Opulent Philanthropy strongly opposes terrorism and violence. We are here today to help the people of um, Israel and Gaza, humanitarian uh, relief. A lot of people have been injured and don't have shelter, don't have clothing, don't have medicine, and, and we're trying to um, provide support to these uh, people. They really need uh, our support, and uh, we are raising funds for them to um, receive that support. So with your help, we can... Uh, make their lives a lot better. So if you like to join Opulent Philanthropy Inc. in helping these people um, survive during a horrible tragedy, they will appreciate it. And so will um, all the people in both countries. So we'll, we'll pose uh, terrorism, violence, against civilians, hate, and other acts that threaten uh, human life, livelihood, and dignity. And we wish for uh, the restoration of peace in the region. So we want to bring uh, peace back where everybody can get along. No more killing, no more bombings, no more babies, children dying, people losing their parents because the civilians don't um, didn't start the war and uh, they're victims of this war and uh, we want to help them because this is a time a desperate need they have nowhere to go they're bombing they can't leave the borders and bombs are falling everywhere so we want to we want to help them um, try and um, make it through this terrible terrible tragedy so if you would like to help we will have all the information for you to um, help out we have uh, we, we like to thank all our volunteers uh, that help us promote the site, that help us um, get the word out, that help us um, deliver the goods and other organizations over to uh, through Gaza. Um, the help that we provide is um, food, water, medical supplies, shelter, and um, we're able to uh, offer other assistance too. So if you would like to help, please donate. The human cost of the conflict in Gaza is not able to be denied. Everybody see it. Over 5,000 people have been killed since the conflict began, including 2,055 children, approximately 70% of Gaza's population has been displaced and over 181,000 homes have been destroyed. Over 1 million children are trapped in Gaza with no safe place to go and warned of the uh, devastating impacts of lacking medication and electricity to power vital health uh, care infrastructure in the enclave. During this geopolitical maneuvering, the people of Gaza face a desperate reality. There is no safe haven or road in Gaza. The healthcare system teeters on the brink of collapse, and fuel shortages hinder the distribution of aid and delivery of essential services. As Israel airstrikes and rocket attacks from Gaza continue, the Biden administration is urging for a delay in ground invasion to allow for negotiations and aid delivery. 
Yet as each day passes, the conflict shows no sign of abating. It's getting worse. It's getting worse for the people uh, because they have nowhere to go. They're searching for Hamas, but with the tunnels and the difficulty of the uh, human lives and the being used as shields and the uh, civilians and the uh, the people that they captured in Israel being probably hid in the tunnels, it is making it very um, difficult for them to go in and uh, capture Hamas without innocent people being killed and this is why everybody's urging the Biden administration to uh, try to negotiate to get the innocent people from uh, Israel and America and other countries uh, back home safe to their loved ones yet as each day passes the conflict shows no signs of abating, leaving the people of Gaza caught in the crossfire of battle, of the battle with no end in sight. On Saturday, the efforts of uh, many global humanitarian relief advocacy groups came into fruition as the Gaza corridor officially reopened, allowing a significant flow of humanitarian aid to enter the Strip. This marked a critical point in addressing the crisis and bringing much needed relief to those who have been suffering on Palestinian territory. The resources coming into the region as the only hope many there have. I mean, the devastation is cataclysmic. The important thing to understand about the Palestinians who live in Gaza They've got no place else to go. They stuck. The Egyptians don't want them. They won't let them through the borders. Other Arab countries don't want them. They're kind of in there because they must be there. And they're trying to make their homes under a very difficult conditions. They have this Hamas group that is using them as shields for all its vicious ventures against the state of Israel and the Israeli people. The United Nations is watching closely for signs that Hamas is diverting humanitarian humanitarian aid meant for civilians in Gaza, the U.S. State Department said, adding that it is not reported any such signs so forth. So the, the, the relief is getting to the people, not to Hamas, the terrorists, and uh, we are trying to uh, get as much relief as possible by helping uh, fundraise through many platforms that we're on, through corporations, their employees, cryptocurrency, stock, DAF. On our site, www.oplandusa.org, you can uh, donate uh, many forms of currency. We accept... Um, many cryptos, um, stocks, credit cards, PayPal, you name it. We are, you are able to go to our site and uh, oplinusa.org and make a donation if you would like to help. And uh, the people over in uh, Gaza and uh, Israel will appreciate your kindness. The United Nations Agencies are the ones who are delivering the humanitarian assistance once it gets to Gaza. And to this day, they have not reported to us any signs of diversion, State Department spokesperson uh, Matt Miller said. So it's getting to the people, but it's getting there slow. But, you know, slow is better than not getting there at all. So they're trying to work around... Um, these bombings and uh, slow the bombings, they haven't slowed, but they're trying to work around them so that the uh, the aid can get to the people. Many countries are helping, many organizations are helping uh, because everybody want to save the uh, innocent people's lives. And uh, 
majority of the people over there are innocent. They're just civilians. They just live there, and uh, Hamas is. Um, they're not in control of what Hamas does. So Miller said the UN has several mechanisms to ensure that Hamas does not divert the aid meant for civilians. It is critical that Palestinian civilians in Gaza who need life-saving assistance receive it as soon as possible. We will continue to work with trusted and experienced humanitarian partners to make sure this funding reaches those who are suffering. The funding will go towards providing food, water, medical assistance, um, protection services, and other life savings assistance to civilians in the area while ensuring no money goes into the hands of Hamas. The 2.3 million Palestinians in Gaza, half of whom have fled their homes, are rationing food and drinking dirty water. Meanwhile, hospitals say they are running low on medical supplies and fuel for emergency generations. The, hum the uh, Hamas-run health ministry says five hospitals, the Hamas, not the group, <laughs> not the terrorist group, says five hospitals have stopped functioning due to um, uh, fuel shortages and uh, the bombings, the damage from the bombs. So they have five hospitals that uh, cannot help. They don't have the fuel, they don't have the electricity and people on ventilations and newborns and you know, it's, 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 it's a tragedy. It's a big tragedy. This is a, a tragedy that may be going too far to um, for the, for the civilians. It's already too far. So Innocent people, I can't imagine living in Palestine and uh, trying to round up my family and go to the border and they bombing at the border. You can't get out and you're innocent. That is a horrible way to um, live and to be trapped in. Like you can't work. There's no food. There's no water. There, you just, what are you doing? Waiting to die? I mean, it's it's horrible. And for the people that's already sick and they can't get food and medicine and stuff in there fast enough. And uh, this is how many deaths will occur if they continue the bombings and not letting up so the people can get the humanitarian uh, services needed to uh, keep them alive. But earlier this week, at least 500 people were killed following an explosion at the al Hai Arab Hospital in the middle of Gaza City, which has, which was sheltering thousands of residents who fled their homes in northern Gaza, aiming ongoing Israeli strikes. For those trying to locate or get in touch with a U.S. citizen, please contact the U.S. Department of State. Overseas Citizen Service call 1-833-890-9595 or 1-606-641-0131 to connect to the coordinating group. For those um, who wish to help people affected by the humanitarian crisis resulting from the October 23rd on conflict in Israel and Gaza, we ask that you donate and your donation will be used by the Apple Philanthropy Movement where it's needed most to help all those impacted in the region. Apple Philanthropy uh, distributes international humanitarian aid, shelter, food, and water to provide comfort to victims of disasters. Apple Philanthropy is a nonprofit organi organization that depends on volunteers and the generosity of the U.S. public and international donors to deliver our mission. Donations may be made on our website at www.oplandusa.org or www.oplandusa.org slash donate cryptocurrency. So we have many. Um, we're going to add it to our DAF site and stock site as well. So, like I said, there's many ways to donate if you would like to help. And um, 
We appreciate uh, you all listening to our um, fundraiser. And uh, you have a nice rest of your day.